I'm going to turn 50 this year, and last year I cased a double and it hurt a lot. At what age do you think it's okay to just roll doubles and stick to the tabletops, the singles, etc.? Um, 50, where I'm going to be soon? 60, 40? What do you think? King Friday, that's a great question. That's a great question. At what age do we say no go to the doubles? I think that's completely situational and subjective to the individual. I, be, well, for example, myself, I'll hit double jumps until the day I die or stop riding a dirt bike because you have to be able to assess your, your individual risk level. If it's a giant double that I'm not quite confident on how fast to go, then I, yeah, I probably won't do it. But if it's, uh, the lights really just flickered that time. I'm gonna end this quickly before the whole van shuts off and we lose it. Um, you have to be able to just assess your, your risk and your confidence level, your ability level. Um, you know, as far as like, a body being able to take or not take those hard impacts of misjudging something coming up short or going ultra long. I would say, f you know, 40 is probably getting close to that cutoff. I think anything over 40 and those hard hits are really, really, really hard. Your likelihood of tearing ACL possibly, tear, uh, rupturing your Achilles, uh, st straining just any muscle, hurting your back, slipping a disc in your back go up exponentially. Hey guys, before we get back to this video, Moto Academy is going on a world tour in 2024 and we're going to be hitting over 120 locations. We're gonna be absolutely everywhere. Myself and head coach Mitchell Prescott are dividing and conquering. Go to the Moto Academy dot com and sign up for a class today. I urge you guys to keep checking the website because we're adding new dates and releasing new locations every three days. So every three days, new stuff is going up on the site. And like I said, we're going to be absolutely everywhere. So if you want to train with us in person, get the best moto training humanly possible, go to the motoacademy.com, sign up today. Back to the video. So I think you just have to be able to assess like, okay, how calculated am I? What are the chances of me mistiming this jump? That's the framework. That's the way I, I think of it in my head is like, I'm at 30, I'm 30 years old. At 30, I'm not jumping stuff that I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm jumping stuff confidently and right away because I know with 99% certainty that I know how fast to go to clear it. And that's a good feeling. If I do make a mistake, it's usually very, very seldom, first of all, and it's probably minor, like a couple feet long, a couple feet short. If I'm not confident of that, that's when you'll see me take some more time doing the obstacle. I'll watch somebody else do it. I'll listen to their bike and yeah, I, w when you're starting to get to that point, that's where it gets a little scary because you start kind of second guessing yourself. Um, so yeah, King Friday, I'd say if you're asking that question, probably shut down the doubles, probably shut down the doubles. But that's why scrubbing, learning how to be effective at scrubbing can be really, really, really effective because you can keep that bike on the ground and push through. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, make sure you go download them on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to watch full episodes or be a person that sends in your own video submission, go to club.themotoacademy.com and subscribe to join the Moto Academy family today.